Today we're looking at the Battle of Logan's Crossroads, uh, playing as a union of course. But before we jump into the fight, this is part of the Shiloh campaign, just in case anyone's just joining us. Uh, let's go and look at the, some of the new recruits we've got in the army. So, big welcome to Blake's Brigade, Alex the Great, which we'll probably refer to as Alex's Brigade, the Yorkshire Volunteers, the Frisian Volunteers, I think we're in the last one. They must be, they've got some experience. Uh, so, you guys are going to be, uh, well, you've been moved into the first corps. We've, been, we've made room. Uh, the artillery is the same. We've got the cavalry which I think uh, we're looking for someone to lead the cavalry brigade if there's any volunteers. We've also created a second corps and we've recruited Sean's brigade, the Ohio Outlaws and Clemens brigade as well and we've got two artillery batteries again both these guys looking for leaders if you would like to step up and volunteer for the army. Uh, so the second brigade won't be getting into battle today I suspect it will be sorry the second corps won't be coming into battle today I suspect it will be getting called in at the Battle of Shiloh, that's going to be a big fight. Uh, that was a, well, we'll talk more about that battle when we get there. By the way, you can see the effects that these small battles have. Because we won the Battle of the River Crossing, the enemy at Shiloh will have low morale because I think it's supposed to indicate either they were there or the reinforcements that were supposed to come didn't show up. And at Logan's Crossroads, the effect of this one, if we beat this, the enemy at Shiloh will have a smaller size because the reinforcements didn't arrive or something like that. So that's, that's why these small battles are important. You can skip them and just fight the main battles, uh, but you have a harder time of it. So it depends what sort of challenge you would like. So the Battle of Logan's Crossroads. Let's jump in. The air was all murderous iron. That could describe many a battlefield. I can't even imagine what it'd be like to be on one of these battlefields. We, we play the games, but uh, it, it, it was brutal. The American Civil War was a, a special new level of brutality. So we can have up to nine brigades. I'm going to drag the first corps in there. Now, there's 12 brigades, including the artillery and the cavalry. The game, as far as I know, decides what goes in and what doesn't. So actually, that's... What if I just click? Oh, I maybe took some out. So we can take some out. Do you know what? I'm going to let the game decide. Let's see what we get. Let's just say that not everyone turns up from the, from the line of march. Detachments of your army are gathering at Logan's Crossroads to commence an attack on a rebel force at Mill Springs. Our scouts have spotted rebel patrols to the woods heading towards your position. Guard the crossroads until the rest of the detachments join you. So let's have a look at the map. So it looks like a very small map to start with, but this, this will expand and open up. So what I think is going to happen is that uh, we, we basically need to hold this point here. And I think we might have reinforcements coming to join us. And there will be a rebel attack coming across here. So we need to line up in the best possible position that we can. Let's have, um, well, let's have some soldiers. What have we got to start with? We've got very little of anything to start with. That is, that is a little bit concerning. We start with only three brigades on the map and the rest are going to come and join us from the line of march that's a worry so uh ooh, do we try and hold one side only i think we might try and hold one side only i was going to try and hold both sides of this because i wanted to hold the woods to stop attacks from down here but i think it's more effective if we just make sure we hold the north and then uh that's gonna that's gonna be the plan so Jedi's Brigade is the most experienced. It has the Silver Star. Badger's Brigade is as well. Actually, they're all these are all experienced guys. This, this is okay then. So we're going to put, uh, actually, Jedi's Brigade out on that side. We're all going to take that side up. Um, we're, going to hold, we're going to hold an angle like this on this side of the river, um, probably across that stream, and where we can cover the crossroads, but where we have a bit of protection. And we're going to hope our reinforcements arrive pretty damn quickly so let's put the supplies in there and start the battle right drag those guys off up there you guys want to be up here you want to be in here and you're going to be in there maybe holding in some reserve what i will do is if i can i'm going to leave oh my god they're there already supplies turn turn this is no, this is not part of the plan. They kept, that was that was some serious ambush there. Right, those skirmishes uh, go and occupy the farm. We've driven off Martin's brigade. Wow, we were right into it there. Come on, we 
don't want the who don't want the supplies getting lost at this early stage of the game. Deploy skirmishers and put them out to the flank. Jedi's brigade is fleeing back. Johnson's brigade's hit them in the flank. Turn Chris Pinkney's brigade in to face Johnson's there. Right, let's bring this back round. Jedi's lads will rally. They will. We need to we need to be in the woods. We need to be in the woods and we need to be there on the double. We do not want to be on the outside shooting in. Right, this is looking better. This is looking better. Wow, that was a surprise and a half. I need to chase these guys off, so if I can... I might order a charge in there, actually. Good, come up and join me on the flank here. Okay, let me just have a pause and a think for a minute, because we have got reinforcements coming up. So the Frisian volunteers are going to just take the railway line and come up into the woods like this. Uh, the same with St. McCracken's Brigade. Let's outflank this rebel force. Meanwhile, I do suspect that there will be an attack coming across this field. So what I would like to do is put Bear Brock's Brigade straight in to defend the farm up there. And meanwhile, we can get Frangus's artillery on this side. And there should be Ben's artillery on the other. And let's put them up where they can take an effect. And Alex's Brigade, newly involved, newly recruited, newly brought in, and Blake's Brigade into the first corps. Let's go and hold those woods at the bottom end. Right. That all kicked off much faster than I am comfortable with. Right, come on. We've got uh, we've got people in a bit of a a bit of a bind over here. Get across. And there they go. There's Gibson's lot coming in. This is not good. Right, so you on the double. On the double, we're going to have to run people in here. The skirmishers will hold them for a bit. Just turn and shoot. We've got two Confederate brigades, three Confederate brigades and some cavalry coming in here. We are caught right in the middle. The skirmishers at the farm should at least be able to... Right, Johnson's being chased off slowly. Come on, you go through there. Get that artillery into position at the, at the crossroads. I do not want Badger's Brigade being outflanked here. This, this is kind of important. Right, you charge in. Sorry, charge in. Come on. Skirmishers attacking in the rear. More skirmishers out on this side. Engage them. Okay, our fellows are in position. Oh, Blake's brigade's gone straight in against Pond over there. Luckily outnumbering them. Are they going to carry on? I think they're maybe going to go into Anderson as well. Let's, let's bring in some more firepower here. Right, you, get involved there. I think you are currently blocked. And we can turn off the run. We, we got in there in the nick of time, so that's great. Turn that brigade through that side. Uh, let's let's return you to sender. That was a big attack all at once, and all of a sudden, there's absolutely nothing between the artillery. Come on, you need to be there, and you need to be there now. Good. Good, we've got rid of one. There are three rebel brigades milling around in the middle down there. Some of the Kraken's boys to the rescue again. Badger's men are being uh, outflanked here. This is not good. Okay, I need to run these guys in. Jedi's brigade to the rescue. Meanwhile, the artillery is doing everything it can. Blake's brigade down here, exhausted. So, okay, we're in. The artillery now starting to take effect. Whoa, it's a good job. It's a good job that artillery got in there. It's going to fire in a minute. Watch this. Ooh. 
Have we got more attacks coming in from the south? Right, we need to we need to push that. Okay. Fill that gap. Get those skirmishes. Good lord, they're coming in again. Stop or we're going to get outflanked. You need to hurry up. <laughs> we are caught right in the open here. This is not good. I don't want to be fighting in open fields. Good god, there's more of them. There's just more of them. At least Badger's Brigade are in good cover and giving better than they're taking. So that's excellent. Come on, advance. Skirmishes are not doing what they should do. They should get behind them. Okay, we're through there. Advance on. Advance on. Skirmishes, just, you just pepper them. It's time to bring up the artillery a bit closer, I think. Come on, we're going to outflank this. Let's bring that up, definitely. Bearbrock Brigade took a, a right walloping. Bring in where you can have some effect up there. Shoot them men down. Don't let them go. Shoot them in the flank and the rear. There we go. They will break. That was a very aggressive move. It was a really interesting war, the American Civil War, because it's where tactics and weaponry evolved at different paces. Like, we've got the rifled musket, we've got better artillery and rifled artillery. Um, but was, they were still using Napoleonic-style tactics. You need to turn and face them right now. Like uh, the, the massed ranks and the charge, and it was still still the way war was, was fought, but with longer range, more accurate weapons, and ones that were more reliable and easier to reload because of the percussion, percussion lock system, then it was um, a hell of a lot more brutal. Come on, Bearbrook, get in there. I feel like I'm having to run everybody in. Do I have... I mean, you need to go back to where you came from. Badgers need to go back to where you came from as well. Let's bring the artillery. Actually, I'm going to just assign you to that role there. We stopped one, which is excellent. Badgers men move up. We need, to, we need to clean these woods out now. Johnson's still fighting. The Frisian volunteer skirmishers are going back. They're not standing. Come on. We've got more southern reinforcements coming in here. They've been chased off for now. Wow, it was kind of a brutal fight though. Go on, into line. Everyone into line here. We've got enemy, tell you what, we've got enemy artillery, have we? Right, let's deal with that. So my cavalry has not been turned up, as is not a great surprise because they were, we did have a limit of how many brigades we could bring to this fight. Badgers men are going to take some casualties. Oh, let's see if we can shoot down Lindsay's cavalry there. I mean, they, they're they going to be caught out for sure. Jedi's men are taking quite the pasting, unfortunately. Okay, if anything, you need to fall back. I'm going to deploy uh, Blake's brigade to this flank. The cavalry, wow, the skirmishes are going in here. No, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. See if we can actually get some of these. Their box brigade can move up into position, and Ben's artillery let's bring them, bring them up all the time. Advance. It's just turned into a bit of a firefight in in the north of here. Let's get a, let's get a better angle on there if we can. Okay, we're fighting two brigades off there. I would say charge, charge the artillery battery. Be careful of taking a load of canister in the flank. Because that will hurt a little bit, it tends to leave a mark. I don't think the south are going to make another, another charge like this. Or are they? these boys. What have you got? Some McCrackens. You've got the Springfield 1855 rifle. 
quite a reliable weapon for this point of the war. Excellent, we've chased off the enemy artillery. Don't run too far, Alex, don't run too far. Keep the artillery of my side moving up. Okay, I, I'd say we've probably got him. Frisian volunteers, the skirmishers, are not doing a very good job of keeping down the enemy. What are we armed with? We've got the Lorenz rifle. But they're advancing up against the skirmishers and then falling back instantly. I don't think those boys have their confidence in the woods just yet. This has been a solid hard fight going through here. Right, let's occupy that. Let's make sure that we can hold there. And let's see if we can just chase anything else off. I think we've got the win here, folks. So these shorter battles are nice. They're fun little quick, almost like skirmishes. But um, Shiloh's going to be a big one. That's a two-day fight. Wow, Badger's Brigade uh, flicked over 1,300 casualties. Come on, there's no reason not to get involved at this point, so... Let's also bring up the artillery into the open field there. And keep moving up closer. What are you armed with? Lorenzes. You've got the good stuff, the Harper's Ferry. Okay, it looks like the enemy is on the run. Those guys are still going at the double quick. That's, that's not supposed to be a thing. Shoot them. Shoot them. Bear Brox guys are going to deploy skirmishes. Chase the uh, artillery down. See if we can capture some. Meanwhile, this is looking good. So Blake's brigade, um, they, they got caught up in a big fight early on. Uh, I'm going to withdraw them back and just hold the farm. I'd say we were properly ambushed there. Properly ambushed. Move Badger's men up. We're not done yet. Neither are the Rebs. Frisian volunteers. They've killed more than they've lost, so that's that's good news. Quite quite a few more actually, so they're doing well. This is their first is this their first battle? Blake Brigade moving back. Alex's brigade just covering the artillery there. Wow, okay. That's a lot of... What's that, 5 to 1? That's 6 to 1. It's nearly 6 to 1. That's quite impressive. So we can finish at any point now, but as the, the enemy are on the run, I, I feel like we may as well brutalise them a bit. Keep sending them in. How many more can we get over here, actually? Always possible that the battle could turn. I mean, it doesn't look likely, but if there were something more to arrive from over here, that's something that could catch us out. And in later fights, that is something that's definitely possible. I feel like this is going to turn into quite a brutal fight if we try to, to finish them off in their entirety. That, look at the numbers whittling down. Sadly on both sides, but we do have more people engaged here. I wonder if we could get the supplies up there. Mm. I'm going to, I'm going to expect not. Do we want to try and push them to the ends of the earth? If we do, we're going to need some support coming in there. Uh, let's get some artillery up. Try and keep the artillery out of the woods if we can. Uh, let's bring the supply wagon up. Plenty of supply there. Another brigade broken. I want to see these lot go. 
Let's move Jedi's and some Kraken's up. Okay, we're going to try and apply the finishing touch to the Rebels here. Badger's Brigade going to outflank Martins here and they're going to go. Yeah, they've gone. Excellent. Let's advance up. They're broken. They're, they're definitely not coming back. We're going to try and get the supply wagon. Come on. We're going to move up there. We're not going to go at the double. We don't want to be exhausted. Okay. Bear Brock's Brigade coming up on the flank. Actually, pull the skirmishers back now. And just pull you guys in. This is when we need huge concentrated firepower. We've got this covered, so this, this is going to be okay. We've got supplies going in. You might need some over there, actually. This could be an epic win right here. We're in decent cover. We're using the buildings of this farmstead. We're not actually in the buildings because you wouldn't get a brigade in there, but it's sort of represented as using this sort of terrain and area as, as general cover. Okay, let's bring in, let's bring in uh, Bear Brock Brigade. You can, no, you're exhausted. Badger's men, they've broken. There isn't a whole lot of stuff left here. I wonder if I could charge the Frisian volunteers in. They're low on ammo. I was sending this up to try and support them. I don't think we can get the artillery in anymore, can we? Everything's a running. I've got 1,200 men. I'm going to go for it. We're hitting the charge. Meanwhile, the skirmishers are going to continue shooting into the flanks there. Come on, the Frisians. Come on, you can do this. Although we do have two big brigades coming in this direction, Mark. 185 kills for Ben's battery, 264 for Prangus. I don't think I ever got them into a really good position for long enough. Can we get them to surrender? Come on, can we get them to surrender? We're going in. Hagelkis will mount from this, but we outnumber them massively. And I'm hoping that we can force these two brigades to uh, surrender. I don't know, it's... Where's morale? Morale's at 51%. What about Johnson's brigade? Uh, that's not going quite as I imagined it to. I thought they would have won that one by now. Something's moving. Something's... Wow, okay. Badger, get shooting into Stuart. We are absolutely chasing the rebels off the field at this point. The Frisian volunteers are still fighting. They are... They've inflicted over two to one casualties. They've held this side together very well, I will say. I mean, the, the skirmishes are, are broken. There's almost like 50 of them left. Um, you're in half decent condition. I didn't order the charge. Who ordered that? Come on, let's bring some men up here. Skirmishes have gone, the cavalry should go, and therefore we should get the supplies as well. So they're currently fighting the cavalry. Yeah, they're, they're winning. They are winning. Pond's brigade is going to go. I think Jedi, sometimes the commanders just uh, take the initiative into their own hands and just go for it. Jedi's seen some hard fighting in this one. 400 uh, casualties. Looks like he's planning on going in again. Right, we've got him. Okay. Brilliant. Well done. Bring the supplies back to our side. And the Frisian volunteers won that handsomely. 
tough fight. A very tough fight. And I think we can end that because there is nothing else left to kill. So let's finish that. We held it. It was a victory at the crossroads. So we outnumbered them in that one, although they did have some cavalry and we had more artillery. But look at the disparity in the casualties, like three to one. That was uh, that was brutal for the Confederates. Shiloh is going to be different. It's going to be so different. You might think I'm breezing through these battles, but Shiloh is a tough one. It's tough for both sides. So we won that. Uh, we can see who did the best. Uh, that was brutal. We did absolutely marmalize the enemy on that one. Officers, no one wounded. Excellent. So some guys got promoted. And we got some weapons. Let's go and have a look at the weapons screen now, because this is, this is the cool part of the game. And this is where things differ a little bit, depending on which side you're playing. So we've got career points, we've got cash, we've got some prisoner exchanges, which is not a lot, but it's something. Uh, we've also had... Ooh, excellent. So we've got a star now. The artillery, Frangus's battery is improved. We can choose... I think extra ammunition is the best one. Stamina and efficiency, morale and efficiency, ammo and efficiency. I'll go for ammo. Because that's really handy for artillery. We can just like blast away. Frisian volunteers have gained their first star. Uh, and also they're strong enough so we don't need to reinforce them. If we put a load of like rookies in there, look, they'd lose they'd lose that star. And it's this basically like think of it as level one and it goes up to level three in experienced. So and by putting new recruit recruits in, we're diluting the experience of the of the unit. So we can put a few in. But that's fine. And so we shall have morale and efficiency or stamina, efficiency and speed. I'm going to go for morale. It's nice to have a mix of different things, I think. Morale is very important. No one else has leveled up. Let's see what my career point is here. Uh, training is the one, I think, that would make veterans cheaper yeah we're not recruiting veterans because technically you can't recruit veterans but uh so i'm going to try and play this playthrough without that which is going to make it a little bit diff more difficult for me which i think should be good uh, reconnaissance can be useful because it'll tell us a bit more about the, the strength of the enemy army uh, but uh it's not that exciting politics is good because it gives us each level gives what five percent gold recruits uh, as in gold, as in money, and more soldiers for the ranks. So so that's good. Uh, medicine, I really like medicine in this because that means more casualties are healed after a battle. I might go for that because we want those veteran troops to come back into the ranks, don't we? Although politics for money and recruits is also very good. Uh, I'm going to go for this because I want to... Looking after those replacements those injured soldiers, is a priority for me as we're not buying veterans. Okay, let's apply that. So it should say down here, unit restore 10%. So as long as we don't take seriously heavy casualties, we can balance this a bit better. So into the armory we go. And what we can see, the armory is what we've got in stock and the shop is what's available to buy with our money reserves. So we've got farmers muskets, reboard muskets, then we've got... Um, the Springfield is, I guess it's made in the north, the Springfield Armoury, and that was a smoothbore musket. The Lorenz was an imported Austrian rifle. They've got the 1855 Springfield rifled musket, and then a Harper's Ferry 1855. I think one, are they the same design, just produced in different armories? Not sure, but they're very, very similar in effect. So we have a small stock of those in stock, uh, and we can buy more of these. Interestingly, oh, if we split, if, if we go across the top here, that was infantry weapons, skirmisher weapons. You'll see in the cavalry, it's Cook and Brother. I'd never heard of these, so I looked them up on the internet. They are actually a southern made uh, cavalry carbine, and they were started off being made in New Orleans until that city uh, became under siege and later fell to the north. And then they moved to somewhere in Georgia, I think. Anyway, it's somewhere much further inland and safer. Uh, we're never going to get enough of these unless we capture a lot to be able to equip our cavalry with them. So they're probably something we can sell to, to raise a bit of money. And artillery, we have a bit of artillery and there's nothing a lot in stock. So it's just, it's mainly a case of uh, we're going to have to, to buy some from the, from the shops, if you like. Uh, right, okay, so we have 
the Yorkshire Regiment or the Yorkshire Volunteers. I don't think they were involved in that one. I know they didn't come in, did they? Alex's boys did, so we can recruit those back up to full. Doesn't cost us anything. Oh, we could do with some better guns for these. You've got Lorenzes, and you two. You two are on smoothbore muskets, so we can actually spend the money, so we have money to change that. If there's something in stock that we can buy, uh, we can afford the Harper's Ferries. It's going to cost 39,000. Yes, sir. That's where having more points in economy helps because it becomes cheaper to buy the rifles. That was sodding expensive. I don't know if there's 1,500 of any one type we can buy in here. There is. There's 1,500 Springfields. So we can, we can just afford to do this. Right, that's, that's my money gone, pretty much. Let's put the rookies back up. The downside of buying all the rifles are, if there's another unit that uses them, then we might not be able to... Oh, we don't want to go over that, so let's let's just put a few in there, recruit a few back to the ranks. St. McCracken's Brigade took an absolute walloping in that one. Oh, well, actually, no, we can't... But there, you see, that was the exact situation I was wanting to talk about. We don't have enough of these in stock to fully replenish another brigade, so you've got to be careful with that. But that's okay. Um, we're going to we're going to increase them a little bit, and we're having to buy some weapons. Bear Brock's boys, we can we go full on that one because they're not up there yet. And Jedi's brigade. Okay, this this is this is the expense. Okay, we can't do this. <laughs> we're short of weapons, so that is how it's going to have to stand. Unfortunately, badges are used. I don't know. Can we put any badges in? We could actually fill them up. They don't lose. I don't want to do too much. We'll keep them slightly under strength because I don't want to lose too much experience on this. Right, that is it. We do have men available. What I might do is Ben's battery. We might change these so I have a battery of long range stuff. What would it cost to fill these with 10 pounder ordnance? Do we have anything bigger? Do we have 20 pounder parrots? We do, but not enough to fill them up. So, um, I'm thinking we'll go the 10 pounder ordnance. They're a good gun. The damage is reduced. It costs 15 grand for this. Let's equip that. Then we've got some rifled weapons and some smoothbore weapons in this. And can we? Okay, so we don't want to lose that first star. We can increase this to um, 16 guns in the battery, which is excellent. Let's, let's do that. And then with the 12-pounders, they've just gone up. Can we go up to 16? No, we can't. I'll keep it at 12 then. I'll keep it at 12. We've just increased a few, bits, uh, a few soldiers in there. Right, so that's us. What I'll do... There is room, folks. There is room for new commanders, new guns. These are some cheap ones, so we can boost them up to eight. Uh, they're just six pounders. Um, if you would like to lead one of these batteries, or if you would like to lead the cavalry brigade in the, in the first corps there, let me know in the comments. Give me some suggestions for names. It works really well with a name followed by a brigade like Bear Brock's Brigade, or the Yorkshire Volunteers, or the Ohio Outlaws, stuff like that. Uh, not everything fits in, so just some suggestions. But let me know, you're welcome to join the army. And in the next, the next episode, we're going to be visiting the Battle of Shiloh. And that's going to be epic. Okay, folks, have a great time over this weekend, and I will see you on the next one.